guys, welcome to the seventh Android app tutorial where we're developing the friend system for the social media app we're making in Android Studio. Now in this video, we're gonna pick right up where we left off in the last video, which is to say that we've created the search functionality to go to other users page, send them friend request, view our relationship to the user, as well as unfriend the user. Now in this video, we will be implementing this friends page that you see right here. So basically we're going to need to create an API that will load our friends and friend requests onto our page. And subsequently we'll add some handlers to each of our holders that you see here, which we'll be able to accept the request right here or view the user's page when we click on it and accept it from there. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Now, the first thing that we need to do is go into our user.php file and we're going to create the um, API called load friends which we will load into that um, screen that you just saw there. So this will be the load friends method. All right, so in here we are getting our user ID by requesting the parameter. Our statement is going to be select users from users and then we're gonna interjoin on request and that's because we need to find out which people are our actual friends and which people are sending us a request because not only are we going to display the friends here, we're also going to display friend requests. Now, this is going to be for our uh, little friend request section. So down here, we have the statement of just simply getting our friends. And then we are just executing that and sending it back. So let's hit control S on this. And let's head back into our app. And now we need to create a friends model here. So the friends model is going to help us model out our friends like it sounds. So let's create this. In here we are going to, or in our model package rather, we're going to create a new class called friends model. And so this class um, is very much a long class and we could generate it by using Postman, but I'm just going to save some time since we're um, basically low on time here and I'm going to just paste it in here for us. So we can just go through and hit all enter on here and I'll briefly explain what's going on here. So this model class is basically going to be used to model our friends. So here we are getting um, our requests. We have friends. We can set requests. This is basically just a bunch of getter and setters. And then in our inner class request, we are going to have what's attached to a request, which is the user ID, name, email, and all the good stuff. And basically we're just getting, um, or using getters and setters, and we're doing the same for our friends. So this class is complete, and again, you can just check this code out in the link I left down in the description of the video. And now let's go to our friends fragment and make a few changes. So inside here, we are going to highlight this and generate butter knife injections. And we can hit OK on that. And now let's make some changes to this class. So the first thing that we're going to do is add a friends adapter. All right, so not only did we add a friend or a friends adapter, but we added a friend request adapter. And this will actually just say friend adapter. Um, so the reason why we have two adapters is because we uh, actually have two kind of recycler views that we'll be using. So in the top, uh, like you saw in the main app, it will be the friend request and in the bottom will be our actual friends. So let's quickly create these adapters right here inside of our adapter package. Okay, so we'll create friend adapter and then we will also create the friend request adapter. Okay, and let's head back to our uh, friends fragment and add a little bit more code after we have imported this. So in our uh, on create view, I'm just gonna give us some space here. We're creating our view here and then we need to call or sorry, we actually have to uh, make the variable unbinder first, and this is going to be for our butter knife injections here. So let's go up here and create this unbinder. Okay, and now in here we can start its initialization. 
All right, now we have to create the request and the friends variables over here. So underneath our adapters, let's create this. Okay, so let's continue with the creation of this code here. Basically, we are just going to set up our linear layout manager, nothing special. So we can just go ahead and copy and paste this in here. And we'll import these. Oops. And of course, we get an error here because we have to create the constructors. But this is fine for now. So what we're looking to override next is the on start method. So let's say generate override and we'll look for on start here um not here on start okay so in here we are going to call super on start but we're also going to create this method which is get list data and so basically when we start the activity um our friends fragment is going to get called and then we are going to call the get list data method so the get list data method is essentially going to get all the stuff that we need from the database and put it into our um, adapters so let's create this now all right so inside of our get list data method we can go ahead and hit all enter but it's essentially the same thing that we've been doing uh, in our other classes which is using the retrofit callback let me just keep on all entering this. Okay, so of course we're uh, using our user interface. We are getting the current user as normal and putting it in our params. We're using the retrofit callback here. Um, further down, um, we say that if we get a response, then if the response body uh, friend size is greater than zero, then we are going to clear the friends. Then we're going to add all the friends we got from our response we are going to update here which we still have to create in the friends adapter and then we are going to set the title as visible now basically this is just going to be the same thing for our other adapter which is the request adapter and then of course we have the on failure we'll just clean that up Okay, so this looks good. Now, don't worry about these um, errors for now because we are going to create these in the friend adapter when we get there. Or, sorry, this is going to be in the user interface, but these will be in the friend adapter. So, let's uh, go down and continue this. We only have two more methods to override, which is going to be the on pause method and is going to be the um, on destroy method. So let's override these, generate override. So here is our on pause, and now we are also looking for on destroy. Basically what this is going to do is update our friends fragment. So. Um, when we have a friend request and it's going to give us the accept option or decline, when we hit accept, that um, that is going to disappear. It'll bring us to the profile and it will further um, clean up the recycler view so we don't see the request anymore after we've already accepted it. All right, so like I said, um, as soon as we accept a friend request, it's going to update uh, the request adapter so it doesn't appear anymore and it will update our friends adapter to add them as a friend into our adapter um, so now let's just quickly make the on destroy method and basically we just have to unbind our butter knife injection so we will say unbinder dot unbind all right so this is looking good here and now let's go inside of our adapters and work on those so first we'll do our friend adapter. Now we need to extend recycler view adapter. All right, and now we can give us some space here and we'll go ahead and implement some methods. Now let's start creating our variables here. So this will be context, context. All right, so here we've created our list of friends and then we have created our constructor that will take in our data. Now let's work on the onCreateView method down here. 
Okay, so what we're going to do here is basically just show our list of friends. So we will write the following code. Okay, and we notice that we are missing the file item friends. So let's go into our atom here and go into res and designs and layout. And we're looking for item friends. All right, so now let's go and give this a copy. We go back to our app and we can highlight this. Hit all enter and then create layout resource file item friends. And we will simply paste this into there. Okay. So now back to this code. What we have to do next is go into our onbind view holder and we're going to write um, a little bit of code here that's going to allow us to uh, click on the profile of the person that is in our friend adapter. All right, so this is our onbind view holder. Now we can actually just change this to say final. We can implement that there. Um, actually, of course, this is not going to work because we're going to create our own view holder down at the bottom. So let's actually go and create that right now before we get too far. So let's go down here and actually for our item friends, we can generate butter knife injections. We'll hit OK. And let's go and copy this or I'm sorry, we're going to uh, just cut this. And down below here, we'll create our new class. All right, so this is now our new class here. And essentially, we just took our um, butter knife injections and then uh, we set butter knife dot bind right here and our action button set visibility to gone. So very straightforward, very simple. Okay, now let's continue our code up here. So we can go ahead and delete this. And we can also go ahead and delete this right here. And it looks like everything's working good. All right, so now inside of our on success, we have nothing that we need, but essentially what we're doing here is taking our holder, which is going to be the individual friend. We are setting the name. Um, first, we have to get the position though, so we know which friend that we're setting. Inside of here, we're simply loading the picture into the placeholder and on air, of course, then we have hold holder dot item view and we're setting an on click listener so when we click on it it takes us to the person's profile so now we're all set here and all we have to do left now is uh, go into item count here and we're not going to return zero it will be friends dot size all right so our friend adapter is set up and it looks like some of our errors are going away here all right, now let's go to our friend request adapter and fill this class out. So inside of our friend request adapter, it's going to be generally the same thing as the class that we had before. So we'll get recycler view here and we're going to set the adapter, friend request adapter and our own view holder here. All right, that looks good. All right, so in here, we're going to create our context. All right, so we've created our request here and context. Now we have to create the constructor. All right, so here are our requests and our constructor that's taking uh, in the request and context when this is being called in our friends fragment. Now let's go into our on create view holder. We have a few methods to implement, so we can implement these here. And first, we're going to go inside of our on create view holder and Get this code here which is just creating our view and we are going to implement this actually this is not that is not necessary we don't have to because we are going to create our own so let's go to this item friends here and generate and we're going to generate butter knife injections and confirm so again we will take these here and just simply cut them and let's go and create our own view holder class. All right, so here's our view holder and our constructor, just how we saw before in the other class. And 
I may have, yes. Forgot to erase a little semicolon there. And now we can just go ahead and get rid of this. All right, so we're looking good. And now let's start creating our uh, onBind view holder method here. Okay, so this is our onBind view holder method. And basically we're doing the same thing as last time. We're setting the name inside the holder to whoever is sending the request. We are also setting their picture right here. And I'll just go ahead and down here. All right, so yeah, we're setting their name, we're setting their picture, and further down, if the um, profile is clicked or if the holder is clicked, then we're starting the profile activity with their user ID. Now, we're also setting an action button for the accept um, button. So when we hit the accept button, we are setting the text to loading, so it's gonna replace accept, and then we're going to call this action perform, which we need to create. So let's create this action perform method. Right underneath here, we will say, all right, so inside of our action perform, we're going to dismiss the loading message. Um, further, we're going to uh, get an instance of our user interface. We're calling NQ. And then in the response, we're going to send a message at the bottom of the screen saying that you're friends now. And further, we will start their profile activity. So we'll just visit their profile. So very simple. And finally, we are just going to return here in get items count request dot size. All right, so this looks really good. Now the last thing that we need to do is go and create this load friends data inside of our user interface Java. So let's go underneath here and create this. All right, so here is our load friends method and we've already created that in our PHP. I believe right and exit out of this and in our user. Oh yes, it's right in front of my face. Yes, we've already created it and I briefly went over it. Okay, so let's run this app and see if it's working. Actually, I noticed right now that we, um, or I rather, uh, misplaced the dollar sign here. So let's save this. We'll give it a run. All right, so going to our friends tab, we see that we get this space looks empty. Try adding some friends. So actually, I'm not friends with anyone right now on the app. So let me actually install uninstall the app really quick i will go on another account and send a friend request to this account and also accept the request all right so here we are at the friends page i am on my profile here and if we go to our friends page we can see we have two friend requests here from two different users now we have the ability to click on their page and accept the request from here or we can go back and accept from right here so if we accept it, we get taken to their page, you're not your friends now. And now we have the ability, we can see that if we hit unfriend, then we're no longer friends and we can send them a friend request. And if we go back here, we see that it is not part of the friends. So if we accept, we get taken to their page and we're friends. Now let's look at our friends list and there they are. So everything is working absolutely perfect. So that will be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. This one was a long one. It's definitely the most complex and hard part of coding this app. So with that being said, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.